Welcome to this introductory video about personal tax online. I'm going to take you through creating a return for a new client all the way through to submission. Our starting point is Sage 1. If we're working on an existing client, they'll appear in our client list. If I click on the name, the client sidebar appears where I can see the personal tax option. I click it. And, still in Sage 1, my new client's compliance summary screen opens. I click Create New Tax Year and Create Return. Down the left hand side is a menu listing the 10 data entry pages where you can enter the information required to produce the return. The first page on the list, which is automatically opened when we enter the software, is non-financial information. This page consists of three tabs. Client details, tax advisor details and information for the return. Client details is partly complete thanks to the information we entered in the Sage 1 screen. We can add to or amend these details as we wish, but we must enter our client's unique tax reference. Similarly, tax advisor details are taken from Sage 1. Again, we can amend these details. If your client is employed, then click Create Employment. The Earned Income Create Employment page opens to enable us to enter details of the employment. When you've completed the page, click Save and Close. This takes us back to the Earned Income Employment page where we can see that the employment is now listed. The Self-Employment tab is similar. To add a trade, click Create Self-Employment. We now have a choice between Create New and Integrate Data. Both choices create exactly the same Self-Employment tabs. The difference is that Integrate Data allows you to bring in information from a trade entered in Final Accounts Online. You're now asked to pick the set of accounts. The drop-down menu will only show those accounts that could possibly apply. Select the accounts and click Create Self-Employment. Earned Income Create Self-Employment opens, which has seven tabs. As we have just imported trade information, we can see that the Information tab is partly complete. We still need to enter a business description and the basis period dates. We can see that the income and expenses and balance sheet tabs are also populated with information from Final Accounts Online. The other tabs, such as Capital Allowances, Adjustments and Losses, need to be completed as these relate to tax adjustments rather than to accounts figures. If your client is in receipt of a pension, child benefit or other taxable benefits, then details of these can be entered at Pensions and Benefits. You should enter details of UK interest or dividends at Investment Income. The page works in a similar way to Earned Income. Click Create UK Interest or Create UK Dividend to open a page on which details of the investment can be entered.
The Allowances page deals with interspousal transfers of personal allowances. Use the Reliefs page to claim relief in respect of pension contributions or gift aid payments. Use the Student Loans page to indicate that the client is making student loan repayments and the software will automatically calculate these. Payments and Repayments deals with tax adjustments and claims to overpaid tax. Additional information enables you to make a text entry which will populate box 21 on page AI4 of the return. Attachments for online filing enables you to upload supporting PDFs to be filed with the tax return by using the browse option. When you've entered all the information required to complete your client's tax return, you'll be able to see from Report Preview a calculation of your client's tax position together with a summary of the information entered. From Generate Reports, you can produce a PDF with or without a draft mark of a personal tax report for your client. When you are ready to submit your client's tax return, click Generate Submission Files. User ID and password will already be populated from Sage 1. Click Generate and Submit. The software will take you back to Sage 1 from where you can monitor the progress of your submission. We hope that you found this brief introduction to Sage Personal Tax Online helpful.